Hi guys, it's Otto from Motorizer, and today I have a very exciting uh, new motor for you. It's the RS100 IO. It's the successor basically of the Oximo IO, so it's uh, specifically uh, designed for roller shutters. Um, and it, it, uh, it's basically a successor also of the uh, Oximo RTS motor. Uh, it's a very special motor which you can see straight away uh, because we no longer have the, uh, the yellow and white label. That's changed completely. Um, the motor is also relatively short. Both the Oximo RTS and IO are quite long. These are quite short, so it means that even in, in smaller roller shutters you can easily use them. Um, the motor is also double insulated, so that means that you no longer have an earth wire um, that's gone as well. So that's, that's uh, just the physical differences are, are quite big. Um, but there's a, a lot of features as well which, made these, which make uh, these motors quite special. Um, first of all, it's, uh, it's very easy to program. Um, the procedure is quite different from what we're used to with RTS and, uh, and Oximo I.O. motors. It's a lot easier, um, but it automatically now detects um, the direction into which it rolls, so whether it's up or down. You don't no longer need to set that. The My Position is set automatically during the procedure. Um, and you have the choice between manual settings, which I prefer, uh, fully automatic or semi-automatic. And there's a fourth option as well, which is with the uh, IO Set and Go tool. Um, if you use that, you can basically change just about anything on your motor. So it's the direction in which it turns, the lower limit, the upper limit, um, even the speed at which it turns, because that's another special feature. Um, it's a very silent motor, um, and you have two speeds, uh, the regular speed, which is around 17 RPM, or the slower speed, which is around 12, and you can set that even lower. And for that you can use a set and go I.O. tool and you can basically set it to very slow or slow. You have uh, different, different settings between that. So it's, um, it's something you can determine yourself. Um, and of course by making it roll slower, um, it also becomes more silent. So especially in the mornings when you don't want to wake anybody up when opening your roller shutters, this slow position, very silent, is, uh, is absolutely, uh, absolutely helpful. So that's just a few changes. Um, there's another, another big difference as well, because we're used to motors with uh, a static speed um, that roll at the same speed until the end limits have been reached. But this motor actually slows down, so when it's almost close to its opening, so fully opened or fully closed position, it will slow down just a little bit, so it has a soft start and soft stop option, which actually extends the lifetime of the motor and also makes it even more silent. So there's no, um, no hard shut or, or f fully opening of the roller shutter, which always makes a lot of noise. So again, um, it's, it's very silent um, and a lot of features, which is why Somfy calls it a smart and smooth operator, basically uh, saying that it's a, it's a smart motor because of its features, but also uh, very smooth in ease of use and, um, and the level of noise it makes. Um, so it's a, it's a very interesting motor and it's, uh, it's not that much more expensive than a regular I.O. motor, so there's about a 20 pound, 20 euro difference between the Oximo I.O. Um, and this version, so it's, it's a very affordable. Um, especially if you if you value these features, it's not a not a big difference to pay. And the range is uh, is limited at the moment. Uh, availability as well. There's only a few select partners and countries where it's available. Um, of course, we ship internationally. So if you're interested, do let me know. Um, but in terms of of uh, of uh, the different versions that are available, we have a six. 10 and 50 newton meter version available at the moment. The 20 newton meter version will uh, be available in the first quarter of 2016. The 40 newton meter, so for very large roller shutters, will only be available at the end of 2016. So there's a, there's a bit of time uh, left uh, before that will be introduced. Um, so uh, yeah, th we have uh, quite a few roller shutters that can be used with this uh, with this motor. So if you want to automate them, uh, um, you can definitely use the RS100. If you have bigger ones, uh, you do need to go for the Oximo IO, but you can mix and match as you need um, to, to get everything in IO, for example. Um, if you have any questions about the motor, um, about what it can do or how you can use them in your project, do let me know. The email address is info at motorizer.it um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.